Hello children, welcome to AIMS India's online classes. In today's video from mathematics subject, equations and inequations topic we are going to discuss. So in our previous videos we have completed the concept children. So let's solve the practice sheet problems. So let's start with the conceptual understanding type questions. So first question. So the question is uh, a statement of equality, a statement of equality involving one or more variables is called an dash. So they have given that it's an equality involving one or more variables. Equality means it should contain it could consist of both LHS part and RHS part. So this will be an example of equation. So because here uh, E option expression they have given, expression is not an equality. It does not uh, have any equality sign. So the correct option is equation. Next number 2, the value which when substituted for the variable in an equation makes LHS equal to RHS means the value which when substituted in the place of variable like x if the LHS part becomes equal to RHS part then that value is called dash of the given equation. When we substitute the value in the place of x LHS is becoming RHS means the value is satisfying the equation and it is called as solution and root. It can be called with both the names. So option C, both A and D is the correct answer. Next, number 3. Solution set is the dash of the replacement set. Suppose we have an uh, um, equation x such that x plus 4 equal to 7 for all or uh, x belongs to n. There is a, uh, a condition for uh, taking the values of x. So we can take the values of x which, uh, which are natural numbers. So x belongs to n is the replacement set. Uh, means only natural numbers only we have to take in the place of x while solving the equation. So here natural numbers is the replacement set of for the variable. But if you keep 1, uh, it is not equal to 7. 1 plus 4 is not equal to 7. 2 plus 4 is not equal to 7. But 3 plus 4 equal to 7. So x equal to 3 is the x equal to 3 is the solution. But x equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 up to all natural numbers, n natural numbers. It is the replacement set. So the solution set will be a part of replacement set. Means it will be a subset of replacement set. So answer, option A is correct answer. Next. So Ax plus B equal to Cx plus D. Then x equal to how much? So they have given that ax plus b equal to cx plus d. Let's take all x terms one side. cx comes to LHS part. It will become ax minus cx. b will go to RHS part. It will become d minus b. On the LHS side, we can take x as common. So a minus c will remain. On the RHS, b minus d will remain. Next, a minus c will go to RHS part. x equal to b minus d by a minus c is the correct answer. So according to options, E option is the correct answer. Next, fifth question. To add or subtract a positive number from both sides of any equality without any change in equality sign is called. Suppose uh, if you have x plus 3 greater than 7. So here uh, to for finding the value of x because 
we have plus 3 here to isolate x for plus 3 opposite minus 3 we can take minus 3 we can take so that this will cancel x is greater than 7 minus 3 4 we will get the solution means same number can be subtracted but subtraction is an inverse addition inverse subtracting minus 3 is indirectly mean that means that we are adding minus 3 or suppose if you have x minus 3 is greater than 7 so already we have minus 3 is there to isolate x we have to add plus 3 on both sides so that minus 3 plus 3 cancel x greater than 7 plus 3 10 solution will come so either adding same number on both sides or subtracting both same number on both sides it is called which property means distributive multiplicative additive property transitive property so answer is additive property is the correct option though we have subtraction here but it is indirectly inverse addition so that's why additive property of inequality is the correct answer next any term of an equation may be taken to the other side with its sign changed without affecting equality is called means suppose we have x plus 3 equal to 7 we can take plus 3 to the RHS part so that it will become minus 3 means the equality is the same equality uh, equality is same but only one element from LHS went to RHS uh, by changing its sign. So, this is called transposition. This is called transposition. Next, linear equation is also called. Linear equation means the equation which is having highest power as 1. Means the equation which is having its degree as 1. Degree means, degree means what? Highest power of the variable. Highest power of the variable of all the terms present. That is called degree. For this expression, the degree is 1. So, it actually it is called linear equation, but the degree is 1. So, it is also called as first degree equation. So, option B is correct. Next, eighth question. The solution to an inequation is selected from. So, whenever we have a inequation, the value of the variable to be selected from one replacement set. Along with the inequation, they have to represent the replacement set so that from the replacement set, we can take all the values and the satisfied values will be a part of solution set. So, suppose if we keep 1 here, 1 plus 3 greater than 7, wrong, 2 plus 3 greater than 7, wrong, 3 plus 3 greater than 7, wrong, 4 plus 3 greater than 7, wrong, but 5 plus 3 greater than 7, correct, 6 plus 3 greater than 7, correct. So, 5 comma 6 comma 7 dash 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 and so on is the solution set for given inequation but 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma and so on is the replacement set so solution set will be a part of replacement set so the solution is called replacement set next when each term of an inequation is multiplied or divided by the same negative number then the inequality dash direction so suppose if you have x greater than 7 when we are multiplying x into minus 3 greater than 7 into minus 3 if you multiply with the negative number same negative number or if you multiply with the divide with the same negative number what happens to the inequality inequality gets changes if it is greater than 
it will become less than because of this negative symbol. So, answer option A changes. Next, 10th question. The replacement set is the set from which the dash of the variable are chosen. So, the re from the replacement set, we will choose the choose what opposite inverse power values. We will choose values or we will choose solutions or roots. So, the answer is option D values is the correct answer. Values is the correct answer. Next, single correct answer type SCAT. SCAT. So, 11th question. A number consists of two digits whose sum is 8. If 18 is added to the number, its digits are interchanged. Then the number is dash. Then the number is dash. So, a number consists of two digits whose sum is 8. If 18 is added to the number, its digits are interchanged. Then the number is how much? Let us see the solution children. Let the units place digit be x, tens place digit be y, uh, tens place digit is y, uh, units, uh, units place digit is x. So, the number will be tens place digit to be multiplied by 10 plus units place digit to be multiplied by 1. The sum will be the number which is equal to 10y plus x. 10y plus x. But they have given sum of digits as 88. Sum of digits as 8. So, x plus y are the digits whose value is 8. So, and if we, if 18 is added to the number, its digits are interchanged. Means, here 10y plus x is the number. For that number, if 18 is added, digits are interchanged. In 10th place, x will come. In 1's place, y will be there, which is equal to 10x plus y. So, for 10y plus x, if 18 is added, it will become 10x plus y. According to the problem, we have this hint. So, let us take x that side, 10x minus x, 9x. Let us take 10y this side, minus 9y. Let us take x this side, 10x minus x, 9x. 10y, left hand side, minus 10y. y minus 10y, minus 9y. Right hand side, we will be having 18. We can take 9 as common. 9 into x minus y equal to 18 x minus y equal to 18 by 9, x minus y equal to 2, and x plus y equal to 8. So, x minus y equal to 2, x plus y equal to 8. We got two equations. If we add them, y by cancel, 2x equal to 10, x equal to 5. If we substitute x equal to 5 here, y will go this side, 2 will come this side. So, 5 minus 2 equal to y, or y equal to 3 x equal to y, y equal to 3. So, what is the given number? 10y plus x. So, 10 into 3 plus x. So, which is equal to 35. So, 35. Option B is the correct answer. Next chapter. Next chapter. First question. Solution of an inequation minus 2x less than minus 6 is dash. So, minus 2x less than minus 6 is dash. So, minus 2x less than minus 6. So, both sides negative symbol is there. We can cancel it. Or, both sides negative symbol is there. To cancel the negative symbol, both sides we have to divide with minus. So, then less than symbol will become greater than. So, minus minus cancel 2x greater than minus minus cancel 6. 
2 x is greater than 6 or x greater than 2 will come this side 6 by 2 or x greater than 3. It is the solution. So, B is the correct option. Next slide. Next, the value of x from in equation 3x plus 4 less than 9 is dash. So, 3x plus 4 less than 9 plus 4 we can send that side, it will become minus 4, but relation does not change us. 9 minus 4 equal to 5, 3 will come this side, it will become 5 by 3. So, x less than 5 by 3 is the answer. Option C is the answer. Next question children. The denominator of a rational number is greater than denominator is greater than its numerator by 3 means plus 3. If 3 is subtracted from the numerator and 2 is added to its denominator, the new number becomes 1 by 5. If 3 is subtracted from numerator, if 3 is subtracted from if 3 is subtracted from numerator and 2 is added to denominator n minus 3 plus d by 2 that is equal to 1 by 5 then what is the original number so here beginning we have So, let the uh, original number be uh, here uh, numerator, sorry, denominator of a rational number is greater than its numerator by 3, means which is equal to, sorry, it is not greater than here, d equal to n plus 3 or if the numerator is x, denominator will be 3 greater, x plus 3. So, this is the given rational number. For this rational number, if you take rational number like this, for this rational number, here x is the numerator, x plus 3 is the denominator. From the numerator, 3 is subtracted and for the denominator, which is x plus 3, 2 is added. Uh, do not consider this children. If you take values like this, so x minus 3 by x plus 3 plus 2, equal to 1 by 5. So, x minus 3 by x plus 3 plus 2 equal to x plus 5 equal to 1 by 5. On cross multiplication, 5 into x 5 x, 5 into minus 3 minus 15, x plus 5 into 1, x into 1 x, 5 into 1 5. So, 5 x minus 15 equal to x plus 5 or x will go that side, 5 x minus x equal to 4 x, minus 15 will come towards right hand side plus 15, 5 plus 15 equal to 20 or x equal to 20 by 4 which is equal to 5. So, if x is 5, then what is the number? x by x plus 3, 5 by 5 plus 3 which is equal to 5 by 8. So, the original number is option B, 5 by 8 is the correct answer. Next one. <coughs> The solution set of x less than 4 where replacement set is n is. So, for x less than 4 where replacement set is n, uh, we have to find the solution set. x uh, should be x value to be taken from replacement set n means n, n for natural number means x values can be taken from 1, 2, 3 and so on. For wall, what values the inequality is satisfied, that will be the solution. x 1 less than 4, true, 2 less than 4, true, 3 less than 4, true, 4 less than 4, false, 5 less than 4, false. The inequality is true for only the values 1, 2, 3. So, this is the solution set. So, option D is the correct answer. 
Next, a motor boat covers a certain distance downstream in a river in 5 hours. So, it will cover a certain distance downstream. Downstream means it is going along the direction of the stream that is called downstream. Means while going along downstream for the boat speed, this uh, stream speed also will be added. So, at that time it can uh, cover uh, some distance in 5 hours, 5 hours. But the same distance in upstream it can uh, it will cover in 5 hours and half means 5 and half hours. Here up, upstream means again is to the stream in a direction opposite to the stream. So, that is why there it will take more time. So, the speed of water is 1.5 kilometer per hour. The speed of boat how much? Let it be x. So, speed of water given means speed of stream given. Speed of boat let it be x. So, according to this uh, time based on the uh, time interval, we have to find the value of x. So, let, uh, let the distance be d while going downstream while going downstream or while going upstream the distance will be same distance d distance d. But uh, while going downstream it has taken 5 hours time while going upstream it has taken 5 hours time. So, we know the time here we have a formula uh, for time time equal to distance by speed distance by speed in first condition in the in first condition distance is d as the first condition is downstream let the water speed let the boat speed is x water speed is 1.5 the boat is going in the direction of water so water velocity will be added to the boat velocity in the case of downstream so speed in first scenario we can take x plus 1.5 so distance is d speed is x plus 1.5 which is equal to 5 hours or cross multiplication d equal to 5 into x 5x 1.5 into 5 7.5 5x plus 7.5 while uh, upstream upstream it is not 4p it is the up during upstream as the boat is traveling boat is traveling like this stream is like this. So, boat is traveling in the opposite direction of upstream. So, its velocity will be decreased by water speed. So, distance is same but velocity will decrease x minus 1.5 time. So, 5, 5 1 by 2 is nothing but it is a mixed fraction. If it is a written like normal fraction 2 5 times 10 plus 1 11 by 2. 11 by 2. So, x minus x minus 1.5 into 11, 11 by 2, 11 by 2 into x minus 1.5. But here also distance, first equation and from second equation, LHS part is same. So, RHS part also will become equal. 5x plus 7.5 equal to 11 by 2 into x minus 1.5. So, with 2 we have to multiply, 2 into 5x 10x, 2 into 7.5, 15, 11 into x, 11x, 11 into 1.5, 16.5, 10 x plus 15 equal to 11 x minus 16.5. So, 10 x will come this side. So, it is 11 x minus 10 x which is equal to x, 16.5 will go this side, it will plus 16.5 plus 15, 31.5. So, x is 31.5 kilometer per hour. So, the boat speed is 31.5 kilometer per hour. Actually, these questions are uh, very, very important questions for competitive exams children. So, if you after becoming elder, if you attempt any competitive exam, it may be a software job uh, in that uh, aptitude questions. In that questions, they will ask these types of questions or for government jobs also for any competitive exams, 
they will ask you these types of questions generally. Next, 17th question. The solution for x from minus of x minus 3 plus 4 less than 5 minus 2x is from this inequation we have to find the solution for x. So, minus of x minus 3 plus 4 less than 5 minus 2x because of minus symbol uh, the symbols inside the bracket will change plus x will become minus x minus 3 will become plus 3 plus 4 less than 5 minus 2x uh, again minus 2x will come to left hand side plus 2x 3 plus 4 7 will go to right hand side it will become minus 7 minus x plus 2x minus x plus 2x equal to minus x 5 minus 7 equal to sorry minus x plus 2x equal to x less than symbol 5 minus 7 equal to minus 2 x less than minus 2 is the answer option c next 18 question solution of the equation 6 into 3x plus 2 minus 5 into 6x minus 1 equal to 6 into x minus 3 minus 5 into 7x minus 6 plus 12x. The question is looking somewhat big children, but one by one, step by step, we have to simplify and we have to add the terms, then it will be easy. So, let us multiply 6 into 3, 6 into 3, 18x, 6 into 2, 12, minus 5 into 6x minus 30x, minus 5 into minus 1 plus 5 equal to 6 into x, 6x, 6 into minus 3, 18, minus 18, minus 5 into 7x minus 35x, minus 5 into minus 6 plus 30 plus 12x. So, 18x minus 13x, 30x minus 12x, 12 plus 5, 17. 6x minus 35x plus 2x, 12x equal to minus 17x, minus 18 plus 30 equal to plus 12. All x terms one side, minus 17x will go to towards left hand side, it will become plus 17x, plus 17 will come to right hand side, it will become minus 17. Minus 12 plus 17 plus 5x, 12 minus 17 minus 5, or x equal to minus 5 by 5, which is equal to minus 1. So, answer minus 1 is the correct answer. <coughs> Next one. 2 by third of a number is 20 less than the original number. Then the number is how much? 2 by third of a number is 20 less than the original number. So, 2 by third of a number is 2 by third of a number is 2 by third of a number let it be x is 20 less than the original number x. Actually, this is the meaning of given sentence, but this uh, we can take this side. We can take this side. So, 2 by 3 plus x plus 20 equal to x. So, indirectly what does it mean? Original number is 20 more than 2 by 3 of x. Initially, what they have given? 2 by 3 of x is 20 less than original number. If we convert like this, we can take in reverse meaning. So, equal to x. So, 3 into 20, 60. So, 2x plus 60 by 3 equal to x. 2x, the 3 into x, 3x cross multiplication. 2x plus 60 equal to 3x or 2x will come to right hand side. 60 equal to 3x minus 2x or 60 equal to x. So, original number is 60. So, option A is the Correct answer. Next year. Two years ago, Dilip was three times as old as his son. And two years hence, means two years from now, two years later or two years after, twice his age will be equal to five times that of his son. Then the 
present age of Dilip is how much? If the present age of Dilip is X, two years ago, two years ago, one relation they have given, two years after, another relation they have given, based on these two relations, we have to find the present age of Dilip. These type of questions also very important for competitive exams. So, ago, or if we assume two years ago, if we assume uh, two years ago, Dilip age was three times as old as his son, means two years ago, if Dilip age is x, sorry, his son age is x, Dilip age is 3x. So, two years ago, we have assumed son age as x, Dilip age is 3x. Then present ages will be, means two years ago to present will be plus 2. So, son age will be x plus 2, Dilip age will be 3x plus 2. So, two years later from present, two years after, again plus 2 we have to add. 3x plus 2 equal to 3x plus 4, x plus 2 plus 2 equal to x plus 4. But according to data, this here, from present two years after, two years after, two times of Dilip age will be equal to five times of sun age. This is Dilip age, this is sun age, two times of Dilip age equal to five times of sun age. So, 2 into 3x plus 4 equal to 5 into x plus 4. This is the relation according to the problem. So, 2 into 3x, 6x, 2 into 4, 8, 5 into x, 5x, 5 into 4, 20. Let us take 5x towards left hand side, minus 5x, 8 towards right hand side, minus 8, based on concept called transposition. Position will change along with the symbol also will change. 6x minus 5x equal to x, 20 minus 8 equal to 12 x value we have got 12, but they have asked present age of Dilip, which is equal to 3x plus 2. 3x plus 2 equal to 3 into x value, we can substitute 12, 3 into 12 plus 2, 36 plus 2, 38 years is the correct answer. Option B is the correct answer. Okay, children. So, that's all for today, children. Uh, thank you for watching our video. So, please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for receiving latest updates. You can also visit our website aimstudy.in for regarding previous online classes and other information, children. Thank you, children. Have a good day.